There are 21 historical missions that stretch along the El Camino Real, beginning in San Diego and ending just north of San Francisco. The Missions of California documentary is literally the only video on the market that captures both the inside and outside of every single location. There's a reason that every fourth grader in the state is made to study the California missions. It's because it brings them up close and personal to the founding of the state of California. It all began here with the dedication of Mission San Diego on July 16, 1769. When Father Junipero Serra triumphantly raised the cross in the name of the Catholic Church and the King of Spain, the spiritual and cultural conquest of California was underway. The stunning white facade of Mission San Diego is one of the most recognizable structures on the West Coast today. Completed in 1813, the building is actually the third in a series of churches destroyed by earthquakes and fire. While the imposing Campanario still houses some of the original bells, the cemetery is the oldest graveyard in California and the final resting place of hundreds of native Indians. The turbulent history of the mission is truly remarkable. In 1834, the Mexican land law known as secularization stripped the mission of its property and prestige, and it quickly fell into ruin. Just one year after the founding of Mission San Diego, Father Presidente Junipero Serra led his crusade-like odyssey northward to the Monterey Bay and established the second Alta California mission, San Carlos Borromeo. With an eclectic blend of sandstone walls and Moorish-style bell tower, it's easy to understand why Helen Hunt Jackson described the missions in her classic novel Ramona as grand palaces. The story of Mission San Carlos began on June 3, 1770 on a hill overlooking Monterey Bay. Today, with an estimated 200,000 visitors a year, Carmel Mission is one of the most popular attractions on the West Coast. In the summer of 1771, about the same time the mission moved from Monterey to Carmel, the sacred expedition was on the move again, marching 60 miles southeast to an isolated valley where Father Sarah founded the third California mission, San Antonio de Padua. Appearing as if frozen in its romantic past, the charming mission founded on July 14, 1771, was one of Father Sarah's favorites. Set in the heart of the hustle and bustle of LA's metro area, the seeds to the birth of Los Angeles began here at Mission San Gabriel Archangel. Founded on September 8, 1771 by Fathers Angel Samera and Pedro Cambon, the mission was the first of the California chain that wasn't founded by Father Serra. Resembling a mighty fortress with its buttress walls and rugged vaulted roof, the Moorish-style church is completely unlike any other in the mission chain. As the number of missions continued to grow along the royal road known as the Al Camino Real, Spain was assuring its spiritual and cultural hold on California from San Diego northward to San Francisco. Less than five years after it all began, the California chain had grown to a string of five, including the newest mission on the central California coast, San Luis Obispo de Tolosa. For the first few years, the new mission founded by Father Serra on September 1, 1772, was plagued by several Indian attacks and a series of major earthquakes. But the Padres overcame the adversity, and San Luis Obispo began to prosper. A little further up the coast, San Francisco opens its golden gates to one of the most beautiful cities in the world. The grand tour of this great city wouldn't be complete without a visit to its number one landmark, the precious little chapel known as Mission Dolores. Officially named San Francisco de Assis on June 29, 1776, its early success was due largely to San Francisco's flourishing international harbor. 
By the end of 1776, Father Serra had succeeded in lining the El Camino Real with seven thriving missions, including San Juan Capistrano, the jewel of the California missions. The mission's romantic setting and colorful history has been attracting visitors here since the late 1800s. It's the Little Swallows of Capistrano that's brought California's seventh mission worldwide acclaim. In January of 1777, the sacred expedition discovered what they thought was the perfect site for the 8th California mission. <whistles> Located on the beautiful campus of Santa Clara University, the resilient mission has survived fires, floods, earthquakes, and as many as four different relocations. It survives today as the most enduring of the 21 missions. By the late 1700s, the old foot trail known as the El Camino Real was quickly becoming a well-traveled road. One of the only remaining segments of the original trail today can still be seen at the mission known as La Parisima Concepcion de Maria Santissima. I think when you consider that I'm standing on the original royal road known as the El Camino Real. Why each of these locations, like La Purisima, has such a great historical value. This was the trail that the Padres walked as they founded the California missions. Because our crew was allowed access into every mission, the viewer is bound to come away with a true appreciation of the modest decorations and elaborate tones, soft colors, which was the contribution of the Native Americans who built these structures. You know, people from all over the world come to visit these places, and the documentary, this video, gives them their own personal scrapbook of what it was that they saw. Now, if they didn't get to see all 21 missions, and they only saw one, they can watch the other 20 missions that they missed and have just as much of an appreciation for them as the location they had an opportunity to visit. By 1797, the spiritual and temporal conquest of California was at full speed with the founding of four new missions at San Jose, San Juan Batista, San Miguel, and San Fernando. Mission San Jose was established by Father Los on June 11, 1797, and became the 14th mission along the El Camino Real. Located in the city of Fremont, directly across the bay from San Francisco, the mission began as both a spiritual refuge and a military post for expeditions against hostile natives. In the mid-1800s, San Juan Batista had become the hub of stagecoach operations between Los Angeles and San Francisco, and by the Roaring Twenties, the mission had become a popular gathering place for motorists traveling along the new and improved El Camino Real. A single standing bell tower in the central part of the state alerts travelers they've arrived at Mission San Miguel Archangel. The rare experience of wandering through an authentic 19th century California mission is due largely to the preservation efforts of San Miguel's founding Franciscan fathers. The fourth and southernmost link of the missions of 1797 is San Fernando Rey de España. Founded on September 8th, it quickly became known as the Mission of Hospitality. With the founding of San Fernando in 1797, it marked Father Los Wen's fourth mission in less than three months, a feat unsurpassed even by Father Serra. It's in Northern California's famous wine country that the mission trail came to an end with the founding of San Francisco Solano. From their humble beginnings on the hill overlooking San Diego, to the elaborate chain of 21 missions dotting the California landscape, these spectacular landmarks stand as a lasting tribute to the courage, vision, and sacrifice of the Franciscan Brotherhood and the early Native Americans. With their innovative designs of graceful colonnades and striking red tile roofs, the missions beautifully define the California of today while recapturing the spirit of its legendary past.